background cleaning. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Forecast from Flagstaff as you see a drone shot high above in the J. Lawrence Walk-Up Sky Dome. It's great to have you all with us. My name is Matt Tantow and I am the Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management. My name is Emily Schlittenhart. I serve as the Director of Enrollment Management. And we are joining you today from the Sky Dome here on the Northern Arizona University campus where just this last weekend we celebrated the graduation of over 5,500 students uh, as part of the class of 2022. And coming up this weekend, we have a special ceremony. We have a commencement this Saturday for those students who had a virtual commencement over the past two years. We're inviting them back to campus to walk across this stage so we can celebrate and honor their tremendous accomplishment in person. And as we get to celebrate their tremendous accomplish accomplishment for those that graduated in May of 2022 and those that graduated in the pre previous two years, we now get to pivot and get ready to welcome the class of 2026. Today's forecast from Flagstaff will focus on orientation and university advising, which really means course enrollment for your new student as they prepare to come to the Flagstaff campus in fall of 22. But before we move on to those details, this isn't a forecast from Flagstaff without a forecast. So let's take a look at what the weather is going to be like here in Flagstaff over the next few days. It has been a windy spring since about the month of April, and we are going to be warming up here in the next few days, and everybody is looking forward to it. We'll be topping out in the low 80s by the time we hit the weekend, and those overnight lows will get up into the low 40s. And for some of you, that might seem cool. For us here in Flagstaff, that is perfect summer weather. So we are excited to have summer upon us. And with summer means orientation and bringing a bunch of new students to Flagstaff. We're going to tell you more about orientation and university advising coming up next. So stay with us. Hi, my name is Jamie. I'm an advising coordinator with University Advising, and I'm here to explain how to complete your priority enrollment profile. All incoming students should complete a priority enrollment profile to communicate important information to your advisor. Advisors use your profile to evaluate your transfer credits, verify your placement, and get you enrolled in your first term classes. To complete a priority enrollment profile, visit nau.edu slash priority enrollment and click on submit here. Once in the application, you are asked to enter your preferred phone number, indicate your starting term, and verify your major. If your major no longer reflects what you wish to pursue, you have the option to choose a new major. Next, please enter any in-progress college-level coursework you are currently taking. If you are not taking any, choose No and move on to the next page. Here, the Priority Enrollment application will show you any posted college-level transfer credit. If any are missing, you have the opportunity to enter them. If you have an unofficial transcript or screenshot of your college-level courses, you have the choice to upload them here. This is a good option to use while you are waiting for official transcripts to post. If you have any questions, please contact us at priorityenrollment at nau.edu. And welcome back here to the campus of Northern Arizona University from the Walk Up Sky Dome. I am now joined by two colleagues from University Advising. I'll let them introduce themselves. Thanks, Matt. This is Monica Bai, and I am Helen Hemmer, and we're assistant directors with University Advising. 
Thank you so much for joining us today. And you know, with university advising, with orientation, we know a hot topic for students and families is that course enrollment and getting their student or getting themselves into those courses for the fall semester. And so um, can you talk a little bit about how a student signs up and gets on, on track to get course enrollment for fall? Yeah, absolutely. So it's happening now. Um, we have already started advising and enrollment for our incoming class of students for the fall 22 semester. Um, I want to share a, a website with you all, nau.edu slash new freshman advising, that will have all of the details, all the links, everything you need to do to complete everything from enrollment and advising. We have a three-step process. You're gonna submit a priority enrollment profile that allows your advisor to start working on your schedule for you. We know that can be really hard that first semester. The second step is to complete an online module that's gonna teach you about degree requirements and utilizing some of the tools. And then that last step is to schedule an appointment with an academic advisor through our appointment scheduler. We have appointments happening now and throughout the whole summer leading up uh, until the start of the term. And you can schedule an appointment in person, over Zoom, over the phone, so hopefully lots of options. Um, one note about appointments, because I know you're also talking about orientation today, is uh, advising will have an open house at orientation, but we will not have advising appointments as part of orientation. So please, if you're coming in person for orientation, also make sure you do schedule that appointment. That is so great, thank you. I mean, yes, the appointment is very important. And so for those students that maybe have already scheduled the appointment, maybe they've uh, already gone through the, all the steps to be ready to go, how does a student know they've been enrolled? And of course, it's May. So what happens if a student is enrolled and they might wanna change some of their classes? Great question, Matt. Um, enrollment has been occurring since actually March. So we use the information that you submit when you uh, complete priority enrollment to determine a schedule for you, appropriate for your major, your interests, your background. So um, it's, it's happening on an ongoing basis. Um, how you can find out if you're enrolled? Uh, one is we'll be notifying you through your NAU email. So make sure you're checking that email for updates about your enrollment, along with the other, all of the other updates you'll be getting from the university. Secondly, you can log into your Louis student account and see your schedule. It's right there um, on the home page if you have any enrollment. So you can take a look there to see what you're enrolled in. Once you have some enrollment um, and throughout the summer, you are able to go in and make changes to that schedule if you feel ready to do that. Uh, the module that Helen referenced is a great place to get more step-by-step -step instruction on how to make those changes if you know exactly what you'd like to do. Or you can absolutely work with your advisor, reach out to your advisor, or discuss this at your advising appointment to make any schedule changes that you'd like. Okay, that is so good. And yeah, Great to always reach out to your advisor if you have any questions around your schedule. What what about those students who, you know, when they filled out their application, uh, when they maybe did priority enrollment, um, they put one major down, but of course it's been a few months and so maybe they're thinking about changing their major or maybe they decide to change their major in August. Um, how do they go about doing that and, and is, that, is that okay? Absolutely, it's okay, yeah, and it's very normal. <laughs> um, if you're feeling unsure of what you would like your major to be, um, or you know that you want to change it to something different, um, yeah, you absolutely can do that. So students can change their own major through their Louis Student Center, so if you know you wanna change your major, go ahead, uh, make that change. Um, uh, changing your major in Louis, if you already have a schedule, will not automatically change your schedule, though. So do make sure that you reach out to your advisor, either through that advising appointment or through email to get all the information you need in order to make those changes to your schedule to fit your new major. Um, I also just like to mention that, you know, changing your major or being unsure at this point is really normal. And academic advisors are here to help you explore options, try different majors, try some, some exploratory courses. So definitely make sure you mention that to your advisor if that's something you're considering. Definitely. Thank you so much. You know, NAU has a number of great programs. And so sometimes for a student, they might take a course in the fall or spring, and that might really interest them in a new major. And so Absolutely. that's really important to think about that. And then also definitely reach out to your academic advisor uh, for more guidance there. So another question is that as we're going through the appointments and scheduling appointments for June and, uh, you know, right now and June, 
What happens if a student can't find a time that works for them? What are their alter alternatives? Yeah, absolutely. So when you're utilizing the NAU appointment scheduler to schedule your appointment, um, all of the appointment availability will default to your assigned academic advisor. All freshmen have an assigned academic advisor. Um, however, you are able to meet with any of our first year academic advisors. So when you're in that appointment scheduler, um, you'll see a teeny little button at the top that says show all. If you click on that, you will see all of our advisors, all of our availability, um, and that should give uh, a lot more options to folks. Um, of course, there's always different extenuating circumstances. If something doesn't work, just reach out to your academic advisor um, over email, um, and, and we can take it from there. But we have lots of uh, uh, slots all summer long. Great. Thank you so much. The advising team is like a lifeline for students. They work f with students from day one all the way through their career to graduation. So they're a great team, and we really appreciate Monica and Helen for joining us today. Thank you. Well, we've talked about advising and course enrollment, but there's a lot more to orientation, and we're going to talk more about that coming up next, so stay with us. Hi, my name is Wes Patterson, and I'm an academic advisor here at NAU's University Advising. As an academic advisor, I help students with a lot of things on a daily basis. On any given day, I'll help a student change their major, plan out classes for next year, help them find internships or other career opportunities, and connect them with the resources across campus. All undergraduate students at NAU, regardless of campus, are assigned to an academic advisor based on your academic level and your major. Gateway advisors work with first-year students and exploratory students. Departmental advisors work with transfer students and upper division students. Find your assigned advisor's name and email address by logging into the Louis Student Center. When you log into Louis, you land on the student homepage. Click Academic Progress. On the left-hand side of the page, click Advisors. Click on your advisor's name for more details on how to contact your advisor. For more information, go to nau.edu slash advising or call 928-523-4772. You can call or email your advisor at any time. We look forward to being able to help you along your academic journey here at NAU. And welcome back here from the Sky Dome at the NAU campus. Thank you for joining us. Emily Schlittenart is back on stage with me. And you know, we've been talking about orientation and advising. So the big question to Emily and a big question that's on your mind, what is orientation, Emily? Great question, Matt. Yeah. So orientation is a one day event happening on the Flagstaff campus throughout the month of June. There are actually 10 dates available throughout the month of June. It's really a time and a chance for incoming students to connect with other incoming students. It's also a time to kind of build that sense of belonging to the Lumberjack community because students will get a chance to meet with student ambassadors in small groups. Families and students will also get the opportunity to meet with key NAU offices and also connect with resources that are really here to promote student success. That is so great. I remember my orientation on the NAU campus, and I would say four to five of the students I met at orientation uh, were friends I had all four years That's here great. at NAU. We so love to hear those it's stories. It's a great opportunity for students to connect and really connect not only to campus resources, but also to fellow students, which is so exciting. So really, orientation is happening in June. Mm -hmm. How do students and families, and how do they sign up for this? You can sign up by going to nau.edu forward slash next steps. It's actually the third next steps, uh, next step on that website. Um, and we definitely encourage all students to complete all those next steps before coming to orientation. But that's how you can register for one of those 10 dates available. Perfect. That, and great point. There is a t uh, there are not a ton, but there are a number of steps we want to make sure students are doing. So make sure you do check that next steps flyer. And then one of those key ones is to sign up for orientation. So we're offering 10 sessions in June in person on the Flagstaff campus. What happens if students can't make it? We really would love students to be here in person, especially in the month of June. Beautiful weather. You can't beat it. But if they can't make it in June, what are some options they have? 
Yeah, so if you go to our website at nau.edu forward slash welcome, there will be an outline of all of the virtual options that we offer. The first one I'll mention is we have student modules that are self-paced self that showcase a variety of different NAU resources. We also have live web webinars that are going to be offered the month of June, July, and August, and there's a calendar listed on the website. The topics include financing your education, advice tips and campus life topics. Those sessions will also be recorded and they will be uploaded to our NAU YouTube channels, which are now listed on the screen. You can find those YouTubes by going to nau.edu forward slash welcome. They're at the bottom of the page. All of these webinars are all also offered in Spanish over the summer. You can also download the NAU Go application that will also list out these webinars and will actually link to your Google Calendar. So they will pop up and they'll be displayed for you to be able to enter those webinars quickly. Great, great resources, great options for both families and students. If you can't be up here in person, you can plenty of options virtually to actually get that information and make sure that you are on the right track and all your questions are answered. Now we've talked a lot about June as being the big month, but yes. uh, there are a few more months over the summer and we're all here on the NAU campus. And so, Emily, talk. can you share a little bit about um, other types of events that st uh, families and students can come up to during the summer to, to sort of connect with staff and the campus? So we have daily campus tours happening every day of the week starting at 10 a.m. You can register for one of those by going to nau.edu forward slash visit. You can connect with admissions staff and our student service staff to help answer any questions that you have about this admissions journey to becoming a lumberjack. You can also call us at 928-523-5511. We are open over the summer to help answer any of those next step questions that you have. You can also call us and we can set up a financial aid app appointment by phone or through Zoom so you can get your questions about financing your education answered kind of really before you even get here for the fall. We also have an email that's going to be sent out every Sunday starting June 5th called The Buzz that will be <laughs> outlining everything that's happening that week virtually throughout the summer. Great. Thank you so much. Yes, a lot of communication that will be happening over the summer. So please read that. We have the webinars. But definitely, to Emily's point, if you have any questions, don't as ever hesitate to reach out to us. We really want to make sure all of your questions are answered and you feel comfortable and your student feels comfortable coming to Flagstaff and NAU in the fall. Now, with that, some of you have already sent in some questions for this forecast. And so we're going to be answering those questions in just a minute, right after we uh, see this brief message, and we'll return with your questions. Hello, my name is Abby, and I'm a student ambassador here at NAU. And right now I'm at my favorite spot, which is the Sky Dome here on campus. And one of those reasons I love it is just because this is a great place um, for student traditions to happen. One of those is just the running of um, the freshmen is here. And this is where all the football and basketball games are held. And this is just great because it's free for students. Um, it's just a great environment to watch games and get to know people and just be there with friends. Another reason I really like the Sky Dome is because this is actually a polling place for the community and students. And I was actually here last year when I voted and it was an amazing experience. And we are back and we're going to answer some of your questions you've submitted uh, about orientation and about um, getting set up for the fall. And so the first big one that has come up and it sort of fits with some of the financial uh, uh, topics you discussed earlier, Emily, is when will um, students and parents and family members find out about the tuition, meal plan and housing, uh, financial aid and sort of the payment of all that? Yeah, so I'm going to promote the webinars again. They're going to be happening throughout the summer, but we have one particularly about financing your education, so definitely attend that session. Bills will um, be sent electronically to you in July. So it is that month where you want to be kind of looking out for that. And then tuition and mandatory fees, along with your first installment of housing and meal plan, is due August 22nd. So that's about a week before school begins. So, you'll, so we have some time here to kind of help answer any questions that you have about financing your education before fall begins. 
That is great. Thank you so much, Emily. Another question we received was about transportation to Flagstaff, right? So if you are a family, a family or a student coming in for orientation over the month of June, how do you get to Flagstaff? Well, first, we do have some, if you're out of state um, and you might be flying, we do have some direct flights into Flagstaff, but also uh, direct flights into Phoenix. And so if you're going to be traveling up, we also have shuttle buses from Phoenix up to Flagstaff. We have a number of shuttle services that go from Flagstaff to Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix to Flagstaff, uh, fairly affordable. And so really you can look into that to see uh, what that looks like for you and what your needs are, but really very easy uh, to get to Flagstaff. And of course, um, if you're also coming from California or uh, you know the West Coast, about a seven and a half hour drive or so from, Cal from Southern California. So really um, some nice options to get into Flagstaff. So just plan accordingly. And if you ever have any questions about that, you can always reach out to our admissions office at 928 523-5511, and we can help connect you to various service shuttle services that serve Flagstaff. Emily, I've got another one, and this one is about food. Oh, so, food. <laughs> yes, of course, right? So I know that we have parents that are thinking about their, their children are going to be on campus in the fall. How does the meal plan work? How does food work? One of them specifically talked a little bit about um, the retail locations we have on campus, so Starbucks, Einstein. Uh, Quadobo, Quadro, Quadoba, mm -hmm. um, Jamba Juice. How does that work? Can they use a meal plan? Can they use debit and credit cards? How does that work? So you can use both. You can use a credit card and debit card, yes, but you can also do what's called a meal transfer and get a full meal option at all of those retail locations. And when you come up for orientation in June, you will get to kind of see the options that we do have here on the Flagstaff campus. Um, and you can definitely talk to those incoming students or those student ambassadors to kind of hear about all the food options that we offer. Definitely. Those student ambassadors will be able to explain exactly how that meal plan works, right? Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Another topic that are pro is probably on many of your minds in addition to food would be housing. So already you, many students are receiving communications around housing, room assignments, roommate um, pairings, uh, all of those things. And that communication is going to continue over the next few weeks and months as we go through the summer. So there'll be information more about uh, move-in, what that will look like, how move-in works, in addition to uh, what you need to bring for your, uh, your residence hall room. So all of that will be coming in future communications. Plus, uh, my guess is one of our forecasts from Flagstaff will, be, Flagstaff will be specifically on the topic of move-in and what that will look like. In addition to that, we'll also be sending out a lot of information about the welcome week. We'll have a mini activities yeah. planned for that move in weekend, getting students connected and getting them settled in to start their classes in August. So stay tuned, but plenty of information will be coming as well as a few more forecasts from Flagstaff that will from Flagstaff that will be highlighting those things. Um, yeah, and so I think that wraps up all of our questions we have for today. Definitely reach out. We'll have another forecast from Flagstaff coming up next month. Plenty of communication will be going out about orientation and housing and all of that good stuff. We are so excited to welcome the class of 2026. And so with that, we're going to leave you from the J. Lawrence Walk-Up Sky Dome on the NAU campus and at some video of our graduation ceremonies last week to just give you a little preview of what your lumberjack will be doing, hopefully, in the future. Thank you. Welcome to the Northern Arizona University Commencement Exercises. This is a very special day, a day to celebrate the aspirations that brought our graduates to NAU, as well as the many discoveries and achievements that filled their academic experience. Thank you.